Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you uh, how to replace a front hub on this 2000 Old Zolero. This is a two-door hub replacement. It's the same for any 99-04, two- or four-door. Tools you'll need are jack and jack stands, 12, 13, 19, and a 35 millimeter socket. That 35 millimeter is one that a lot of people aren't going to have. Uh, you'll need a ratchet or and a breaker bar, or maybe a pipe for some extra leverage. Large C-clamp, wire brush, torque wrench, and possibly an axle puller. Start off by removing your hub cap. Uh, if you don't have air tools, you'll want to loosen your lug nuts, then raise and support your vehicle. Um, then remove the uh, lug nuts and the wheel. Let's the wheel for easier access to the back of the caliper. Okay, right in behind, your calipers are held on by two 12 millimeter bolts, one there and one there. Should come apart pretty easily. And we'll fast forward here as I remove those bolts the rest of the way. In order to get the uh, caliper off, you might need to reduce some pressure on the brakes. You put your C clamp right against um, your brake pad there, and then on the caliper there. That in turn makes it nice and loose. The caliper comes right off. And for now, you can just put your caliper right up here. And now you can take your pads right out. Okay, you can see that they have wear marks in them. These pads are still in pretty good shape. And then just use your finger. You kind of run it on the back of your finger on the disc, and if you don't feel any really deep grooves, um, they're probably okay. Okay, to get our disc off, we're going to remove this caliper bracket, which is two bolts here, and then one down here. Okay, these bolts are 13 millimeters, and you're going to want a uh, like a breaker bar or use a piece of pipe on a ratchet because these will be tight. Too bad though. Okay, and I'll just fast forward as I change over to a um, ratchet and remove those bolts the rest of the way. So that bracket's off here. Rotor comes right off. Okay, here on the back side, you've got your ABS connector. Just pull back on this little tab, unplug that, and then you'll want to use probably a screwdriver and remove that from there. Okay, now your hub is held on by three bolts, one here at the top, one down here, and then there's one over on the opposite side. Okay, I'm going to use this for moving it using an impact wrench. Um, you want to probably loosen this at the start. You could actually put your wheel back on here right now, lower it down on the ground, then use a big breaker bar or something to uh, remove it. It's a 35 millimeter. Okay, now I'm using 3 8 inch drive tools and it just makes it a little easier to get back in there. A longer bar, because generally 
These are pretty tough. But they're 13 millimeter. But it came off pretty easily. And I'll just uh, fast forward here as I loosen, but I don't remove the three bolts yet. Okay, here in this picture you can see I've uh, put a axle press or puller um, onto my hub. So there's the two kind of hands that reach behind the hub and hold it while the, um, the bolt through the middle pushes the axle through. Um, quite honestly, I've done a lot of these hubs, and usually what you can do is take a hammer and just give that... Uh, axle a quick whack and it'll break it free. Uh, this is the first one in, in about a hundred that I actually had to use the press on. I'll just speed it up here as I remove the bolts the rest of the way. Out. Pull the hub. Now you may have to push your axle back in order to get the harness through. You kind of push your axle to the side, and that comes out. New hub from Moneyano. It's got the ABS pigtail and everything, just like the original. Feed it in, make sure that that connector goes through. Okay, and I'm going to speed it up. Basically, you just push it on. Uh, you might need to twist it just a little bit just to get it uh, to line up with the axle. Um, and then push it back and start one of the bolts in, then start the other two bolts. Uh, and then I kind of just, I don't tighten them up all the way. You definitely want to start all three bolts first then tighten them up most of the way um, and then we will uh, hook up our ABS lead and then you need to torque those bolts on. Okay, and then you want to torque these to 65 foot-pounds. I'm going to start with the back one. this harness in place. Okay, so I've got this bolt torqued up and then my harness back in place and my connector reconnected. And I'll fast forward as I just uh, change the position of the wheel and then uh, torque those other two bolts, again, 65 foot-pounds. Okay, put the rotor back on. And just to help me get it back together, I usually like to put a lug nut on. Okay, before we put this bracket on, it has stainless steel slides. Use a wire brush and clean these out really well. And the other thing to check before you put this back together is make sure that these slide back and forth in and out very easily. bolts to hold the bracket. You also want to tighten to 65 foot-pounds. Okay, so you can see my old pads are still in pretty good shape. Um, this is a wear indicator, this groove right here. And since it's still there, there's still plenty of life left in the pads. Uh, the rear pad you always want to put, um, there is a uh, tab here and you always want to put that to 
towards the back side as far as the rotation. Now, push the pads in. Okay, since your um, since your piston's already been reset, put that right down. Fit nice and easy. These two bolts in. Now these two bolts, you only want to do between 15 and 18 foot pounds. And I'm going to put my center nut on there, and I'm just going to tighten it up preliminarily. And just speed up here as I uh, use an extension and then tighten that top one up. Speed through here as we straighten that out, remove that lug nut, put the wheel and tire back on, and then we'll just preliminarily tighten those lug nuts um, with our impact wrench and torque them when we get them on the ground. Can you take the lug nuts between 90 and 100 foot pounds? Okay, now you want to torque this center nut to 173 foot-pounds. And last but not least, uh, line up the valve stem with the wheel cover, put it on, and use your 19 millimeter socket just to um, tighten the caps by hand. Anytime you take your brakes apart, make sure you pump them a bunch of times and then do test stops from 5 and 10 miles an hour uh, before you road test the vehicle. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.